Lie kijkie, jy kon net soos papa nie meer wacht en op die dag van liefde het jy ons verras. Jy is so klein, maar jy het reeds so in groot plek in my hart gesteel. My liefie, papa beloof om altyd jou belange eerste te sit en vir jou en Nina al die liefde te gee wat ek het. Ek bid dat Jesus vir jou en sy hande veilig hou. Lie kijkie, mama is een liefies kind. Sjoe, wat een verrassing was jou geboorte dag. Jou geboorte was besonder speciaal gewees en my baie anders na sommige dinge laat kyk. Wat ek wel weet is dat lieve Jesus hoor ons. Mag jy altyd na God toe draai in enige situasie goed en slaag. Mag jy altyd die rustigheid en vrede in mensense levens wees soos jy in myne is. Mama sien uit om te sien hoe jou en Nina se vriendskap groei en hoe jylle beste maaikies gaan wees. Mama se vers jou en jou is, Luke 18 vers 1, wat basis sê, Pray and never give up. Ons lief is jou baie, ons liefde is kind. Yo! What is up everybody? Hope you guys are well, hope you guys are doing great. My name is Robert Harris from Optical Noise Photography. Uh, that video you saw before was a client video that I did uh, during a photo shoot. So someone else was doing a photo shoot, Mandy was doing a photo shoot, and I was doing video of her scene. So all that lighting and all the pretty outfits and all the pretty stuff, that's all her setups. I just did the video. I went there with the intention of not using a gimbal. I just wanted to use handheld um, with the stabilizer turned off. And I was trying to do everything uh, gyro stabilization on the computer so this was a cool test to see how it would work in a real job situation and it works great however they have a lot of issues with the system and um, things I'm hoping that they implement in time which I'm sure they will but right now it is far more feasible and time you know less time consuming to just take a gimbal with and shoot it with a gimbal let me explain Okay, so first things first, the gyro is awesome. I will show you some before and afters on screen. When moving even quite roughly, gyro fixes it so nicely that it looks like a gimbal shot. However, the software is not very user friendly and it's very slow. Like there's no way to go, okay, please do this, fi this file by 20% crop, do this one by 10, do this by five, and then go and just leave it so it can do its own thing. So you can't like run the batch overnight to stabilize everything it takes forever you got to go into one file you got to choose okay stabilize by 10 percent and then export and then wait and then the next one stabilize by 20 percent and then export and then after like 10 files now the app doesn't want to work properly it keeps crashing every time you export you got to reset your computer come back in start from where you were it's very slow it's very counterproductive and and that's the biggest biggest throwaway for me so i'm hoping that eventually inside DaVinci Resolve or Premiere, I use DaVinci, but I'm, I'm hoping that in the stabilization uh, drop-down menu, you can choose gyro. Because right now you can't just work on a file and go, this one is stabilizing, then stabilize quickly. You gotta go, oh, I need to stabilize this. Let me go back into uh, Catalyst Browse, stabilize, bring it back in, put it. It's very counterproductive and it's a very awesome feature, but Unless Sony has its own editing software um, that allows it to use that, they need to incorporate it into the other ones. Or give us a batch export process so we can kind of like get home from a shoot, choose the parameters we want, even if it's vague, and um, click export. And it all exports out in one go, and then when you wake up in the morning, you can kind of like just start working. That would be ideal. Um, I don't mind that it takes long to do the export process because you could do it overnight. You can do it when you're out doing another shoot. You could just let it run on your computer any other time. The problem is you can't. You have to go in one file at a time, click stabilize, it'll auto crop in, then you have to say, okay, manual, I want to only stabilize by 10% export, then you wait. Then you do it again to the next one. And it's very, very slow. Normally when I use gyro, it's one clip inside the vlog to show how cool it stabilizes and then it works fine. The problem is when it's a full shoot and there's like a hundred clips of a, like this baby and you got to stabilize all of them so you can go into the post and then edit is such a pain. And while I was stabilizing the clips, I instantly thought this was stupid. I should have taken the gimbal because just bringing along the gimbal, my Weeble S, would have saved me 
hours and hours of time just waiting for things to stabilize. So for work, I will still take a gimbal. I love the gimbal. After doing this shoot, I will not rely on gyro purely for stabilizing because the time it took to stabilize was ridiculous. However, it is still awesome and I'm hoping that they implement the in software stabilization drop down menu that will be beautiful. I will even pay for the plugin. 100% I'll pay for the plugin. Make it, make it happen. Luckily the purpose behind shooting the baby video was to bring it into YouTube for you guys to see and for you guys to uh, hear some input on a real life professional job how gyro kept up. So there was a good purpose behind this. I did figure out that I, I really don't want to go through that again. If you are doing something uh, handheld and you thought maybe it needs to be more stable and you stabilize that one clip, that'll be fine. But if, you're going, if your plan is to stabilize a whole, a whole shoot worth of clips and then go edit, you are not going to have a good time. Just take, take the gimbal with. Just, just take it with. If you don't have one, just buy one. Don't think that the gyro being so good means you don't have to buy a gimbal. If you're doing long walking shots, long movement shots, just buy the gimbal. For most of this, I could have probably got away with handheld with a stabilizer built in and just slowly move in or putting it on 120 frames a second and slowly moving and stabilizing like that. Um, however, the point behind this was to do it all and stabilize in post so I could show you before and after. Um, if you want to go to the end of the video, I'm going to put the clip as is and then the whole clip stabilized and then you can see see what you think about uh, Jara. So I think it's amazing. I just think the implementation on it is very, very slow and very um, tedious, which I guess means slow. This past weekend we were in Bethlehem and I did do a dance video. Most of that is handheld stabilized gyro stuff, but I also had some 120 frames per second slow-mo in there. So a little bit of a show you what you can do with follow shots and so on. But um, yeah, um, this is a very unscripted video, but I wanted to just tell you, don't do it. And if you are going to do it, please be aware that the, the process of stabilizing the clips is so tedious that you're not going to want to do it again. Anyway, um, by the way, if you didn't see my last video on the vlog where I was explaining what happened, I was mugged and um, I was venting to my vlog channel. So if you want to see that, there's a video on my vlog channel. But um, I like the lighting in here and the lights are still inside my lounge, so came to film this over here, chat to you guys. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the baby video, let me know. If you want a tutorial on how to shoot babies, oh, that's bad wording, uh, how to photograph babies in these kind of settings and lighting and, and sounds and, and props, let me know. I will ask Mandy if she wants to do a tutorial and then I'll film it because I don't, I don't do baby setups. There's too much touching of fragile other people's children so i will do the video but um, i'll ask her if she wants to give you a little tutorial maybe some tips and then uh, i'll put it on this channel for you guys so i want to thank you again for watching i want to thank all of you for the support on the uh, amazon affiliates a lot of you guys are buying some cool stuff and um, i'm hoping that comes from me the the money coming back from amazon is going to allow me to buy stuff off of amazon to review for you guys so that's what i'm going to use the money for and then if you want to try out all the software for editing or create yourself a website there is links down below other than that thank you for watching join me on instagram and i will see you on the next one peace i wish i could touch the lens but too far anyway see you later bye